Hello friends, this video on algebra part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the next most important question is how does algebra help? Like we understood that okay why do we need algebra to solve problems but does it really help? I mean is it also possible to manage without algebra? Well algebra helps us to solve more complex problems so it basically gives us the skill to solve such complex problems because as I said that only addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers are not sufficient. So let us look at some common examples from our day to day life which are these examples are common but trying to solve problems related to them are not very simple. For example, when you go to the children's play area, you would have come across a seesaw. So this is how a seesaw looks like. Now when you sit at one end and your friend sits on the other end, if I tell you that okay, if I give you your weight, your friend's weight. Now if I ask you to calculate where exactly you should sit so that you can exactly balance the seesaw. Let's assume that your friend has already sat and now it's your turn to sit on the seesaw at the other end. Now you are, you are given your weight and your friend's weight. You have to calculate at what position you should sit so that you can exactly balance the seesaw. So do you think this is a very simple problem? Not really. You need to do a, a good amount of calculation. You need to apply some logic to solve this. And you know, while solving this, you will need algebra. Without algebra, you will not be able to do it. Because here you are not only dealing with numbers, you are also dealing with quantities for which you do not know their exact value. So there, you know, you take these alphabets and assume those alphabets to be numbers and that's how you solve these kind of problems not only these you we all know that magnets they attract each other right the opposite poles they attract each other or magnets attract certain types of materials but if i ask you that do you know that with what force does a magnet attract the nails or with what force do magnets attract each other or if the size of the magnet is changed how will the force get varied so if I ask you to calculate all of that, do you think that that's going to be simple? No. Again, in, those, in such scenarios, you really do not have numbers to only add or multiply or subtract. So you deal with variables and whenever you deal with variables, you are actually dealing with algebra. So whenever variables comes into picture, you are dealing with algebra. Now, as you move to higher classes, you will study the world around us. You will study uh, all the phenomena, all the things, the uh, how the, the planets move and how things in the universe are managed. You will learn all of that in physics and everywhere you will see that mathematics has been used as a tool and algebra especially plays a very important rule, plays a very important role to establish complex relationships. So therefore algebra is nothing but a tool to solve more complex problems. So here right now you will only learn the very basics of algebra. It is just an introduction to algebra. But as you move on to your higher classes, you will see that these basic concepts are beautifully used to solve more and more complex problems. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.